In this video, I'm going to provide a brief overview on how to get started with downloading and setting up your Unity account. You're going to want to navigate to Unity.com to get started. Now, in my opinion, one of the first things you should do is in the upper right hand corner, you should see a little icon of a person. If you click on that, it's going to give you a drop down and you can create your Unity ID. It's going to take you to a brand new page where you are going to want to go through. You'll put in your email, password, things like that. You'll have to acknowledge and agree and then create the Unity ID. Just as a side note for folks who like to do that, you can also attach your Google or your Facebook, your Apple, etc., to the account. Now, once you've done that and you've gotten the email, you have said that your account exists and you're ready to go, you can go back to unity.com and there's a get it started button. If you click on that, you're going to be able to come in and look at the different options here. For these demos, I'm going to go for the student and hobbyist. All students will be able to download and sign up for free with the student account. However, just so you know, technically you can also use the personal. With that as well, the only drawback is if you have revenue or funding, uh, you know, less than 100,000K in the last 12 months, you have to actually upgrade into the individuals and teams. However, probably not an issue for a lot of folks here. So if you click on getting started, though, it's going to take you over into a new page to download. Now, one thing that has changed over the years with Unity is it's no longer a matter that you download the Unity software program. Instead, what you're doing is you're downloading what is called the Unity Hub. From the hub, that is where you will actually go through the process of downloading and installing the Unity game engine. So since I'm on Windows, it's going to have me download for Windows and it'll want me to download and install the hub. So let me go ahead and take a minute here now and I'll show you what the Unity Hub looks like. So now you have your Unity Hub installed. Over on the left hand side, you're going to have an option that you can sign in. And again, that's the account you're going to use that you made previously here. You also have preference options as far as where are projects stored. We'll talk about that in a future video what installs or where you want the installs to be, what type of appearances do you want, licensing, and you can see here that because I'm not logged in currently, I'm getting an error. I'll talk about that whenever we get into creating projects. Now let me though, however, in this video, the one thing I want to show is how you install the game engines. So on this navigation bar on the left hand side, you're going to want to click install. Now you can actually see here, I have several installed and I'm actually in the process of updating here. But what you can do is you have some tabs along the top here where you have pre-release and official release. If you go under each of these tabs here, it'll actually show you what types of editors you have installed. I strongly encourage folks that when you're getting started, I would not jump straight to pre-releases. This is where you're getting into the beta versions of the software. Stick to your official releases. So on that tab, what you can do is you can choose to install an editor. As you can see, you have a lot of different versions here to choose from. One thing that I encourage folks to do is work with one of the LTS or long-term support. What that means is Unity has agreed that it will continue to keep updating as far as the lifetime of the specific game engine. Just to give you a comparison here, if I snap over into the pre-releases here, you can actually see that I have some alpha and betas here as far as 2022 and 2023. Again, I strongly discourage, especially if you're starting out in Unity, don't dive into beta or alpha. Just because it's the latest and greatest, there are going to be bugs. There may be things that don't work correctly. So I encourage folks stick to the long-term support. So you can see right now I'm using 2021.3.7F1. Excellent choice. It's going to be the same. So I strongly encourage stick to one of the long-term supports. 
but those are kind of the big things you need to know about getting started and setting up unity.